Now let's say you want to add some automation, some movement to your track you got going here. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to duplicate it. If you can see that was Command D. So now we have that happening four times. Great. That's what we got so far. Now we want to move some of this stuff around, like the filter here. So whatever you click on is going to appear up in here. And now we can just click and edit that however we want to. Now I see when I move this, we lose our line up there. So if you just re-click on that, it's going to show us uh, the automation that we have. And now we can also go into draw mode. Do things like that. Cool. And now let's do something like that. Nasty. And you can just change the order of the effects so if you want to. Okay, now let's change that rate over time. So I click on it, and then I just drag double clicking to create points cool now um, tab is going to show us our mixer and let's look at our returns I've got some returns loaded on here let's get rid of those so let's go to create insert return track and now let's put a delay on there anything you have on a return track you want it to be 100% wet and now let's Get rid of our ins and outs. You can see our send. So now this is where the send is. So if I turn this up, it's going to send it to this delay. Let's change it to a little craziness. Click on the send to make sure that's what we're sending. I'm going to turn this up over time. And so you can hear that be faded in. It's on a different channel. So now you can affect just the delays with something like a saturator. So those delays are more distorted than the uh, ones in here. All right, so that's automation and using sends.